Well, it's, uh, it's Wednesday, I guess. That would be Wednesday, April 1st. And trout season is closed. Uh, the melt is on. I am gonna go buzz around and look at some of these entry points up at the, uh, kind of the end of the Gumflin Trail. And we'll see what the weather conditions are like. It's, uh, it's been in the 40s every day. It looks like it's gonna continue to be in the 40s every day. And we even got some good rain in the forecast. So um, I think the snow cover is gonna go fast and we'll see what the ice does. Um, it, uh, I don't think it's gonna be an early ice out, but I also don't think it's gonna be a late ice out this year. So let's go see what things look like. First stop of the day, entry point 80, Larch Creek. This is one of the earliest uh, places you can paddle in the spring. Let's go take a look. There's uh, quite a bit of snow, but kind of in keeping with this winter, there's not much ice on the creek. As you can see here, I'm not gonna go any further because the snow's getting so deep, but um, looks like there's water flowing on top of ice. That's gonna be open in uh, very soon. Obscure paddles of the Gunflint Trail. Um, this is Seagull Creek and is very frequently the first paddle for me or Ada or me and Quinn. I think you saw me and Quinn paddle this last year. But this is Seagull Creek and it crosses the Gunflint Trail a few miles south of Seagull Lake. Um, and then it crosses the Gunflint Trail right next to Seagull Lake. But you can park up there, put your canoe in here and have a wonderful paddle. Um, way off that direction. You can go for a couple miles and even loop all the way around to Seagull if you want to uh, uh, do some bushwhacking. But this is uh, water flowing on top of a little bit of ice so it won't be long. And with all the snow we had this year it's going to be high water. Blankenberg Landing. Seagull Lake. And this looks a little bit like winter around here. Yep. But the snow is really starting to settle in the woods. Seagull Lake. Just still looking, still looking like winter. You could probably drive a truck out here. What you need is to get more of this colored ice, this dark colored ice that sucks up all that sunlight. When it's white like this, it just reflects it back and it takes longer to melt. Um, that's one of the ways that snow cover can have a huge impact on when our ice out is. If we were to get two feet of snow next week, it could delay the season by, you know, a week and a half, two weeks. But, luckily, that's not supposed to happen. It's starting to collapse a little bit. Sag Lake Trail melted off really nicely. I'm going to go in and check out our property on Sag and see what the corridor looks like. Sag quarter is still looking pretty locked up. Well, I'm up at the end of the trail campground and I'm gonna hike in towards sites 14 to 28 and take a look at the uh, take a look at the rapids and see how much water is flowing through there. So these are the rapids in the campground. Uh, this direction up here 
goes to Seagull Lake, and that way goes to Gull Lake and then Saginaga. Um, water's still pretty low, so uh, <laughs> all the, uh, the flowages and the lakes are still very, very locked up. This, is, uh, this will get much, much, much higher over the next couple weeks. Here's the Cross River, starting to break up a little bit, but uh, water level is still pretty low. The uh, entry point that everyone is familiar with, the parking and access is around the corner there, but uh, I don't want to have to go through all that snow. So I'm just right by the side of the road. Um, you get a little rain and this is going to be open. This ice is uh, pretty bad. The animals aren't even running across it anymore. So this is what things look like at the end of the trail. I wouldn't call it, uh, wouldn't even call it early spring yet. It's still late, late winter. Um, we get some rain and that's gonna change, but it's, uh, we got a ways to go. Mid trail area, uh, more snow than up here. And they uh, will probably lag a little behind us, I think, cause they really had a lot more snowfall this year down there. Than we did up here um, but probably in the same boat for our, uh, how much ice they have probably two feet of ice on average just about everywhere but a lot of that ice is frozen slush and that melts really fast um, we'll keep everyone updated on what the ice is doing among other things and uh, we'll see it's uh, April is a month of waiting especially this year